Hi you. Today we are going to start our lesson to part two. If you remember, in our previous lesson, we stops our Angular application at this state. There we created some. Uh, we initialized our Angular application and also created some components there. For example, header component, menu button component, navbar components, and things. In this lesson, I am going to add CSS styles to these components and also create a layout. And I am going to teach you about how to share data between components. So let's start. If you remember, when we see the index.html file in source folder, I have mentioned that this index file is rendering first when we starting our angular application and when bootstrap an angular application all the content relevant to the angular application is loaded to this app root element and now there's another file in global level called style.css file you can see here this file is the our global CSS file. This global CSS always apply to all components and this HT index.html file also. We have learned that all components have some methods to apply CSS for that particular component. For example, if we get header component in header component.ts, we have declares that what is the style file that relevant to this component otherwise there is a method uh, there is a property to add inline css also here so as a global properties i will add some css to this style file in that file we can declare some uh, styles variable, global variable. If there is to add, we can add those things here, like that. I have added some colors as variable with variables name. And to apply CSS to this uh, index.html, there is HTML tag, also the body tag. To those tags, I can declare my css styles here like this okay now you can see that my text colors are all get into dark blue things that global css file styles applies to all components too now let's move to our app component Since this is the root component of our application, we can declare our layout in this root component. I will comment out these things and start layouting this template. Now you can see there's nothing in the screen. Okay. I will create three sections in this uh, main layout which is header and main area and also the footer. Three basic areas that we normally declare in the, uh, some applications when we creating. Okay, now let's create as some uh, basic CSS. We can, we can create some elements and add it HTML files as regular application. Here I declare the header section. And main area. And also the footer. Okay, 
now I have created tree area now I want to add some styles to define these classes CSS classes since the these CSS are these CSS classes are used in app component I added those classes to app component or CSS file this has those things for my easy I have created this class earlier so I paste it there now let's see what happens now you can see there is a separate line and this is the header area and this is the main area and this is the footer if you go to inspect elements you can see those areas separately this this is the container which I created and the header section in area section and also the footer section below okay now what I want to use my header component to handle all functionalities and all behaviors and data relevant to header component let's see how to do it since we have created our header component in previous tutorial what i have to do is just add the css selector as an element to this area let's see i have to add this css selector here and save let's see what happens it appears there we discussed about this in previous few tools now what i am going to do is all the relevant things about the header i use this header component to represent those things so i go there and now i am going to style this header component in header component i want a, a logo and some buttons let's see i'm going to add uh, some <coughs> buttons and logo here okay now There is another thing. In our Angular application, you can see in source folder, there is a folder called assets. In this assets folder, we can add our all assets like uh, our images or some JavaScript file if you want, some other files if you want. Those files which want to compile with this angular application you can add to this folder in this folder i created the folder called images and added some png file as my logo so now i am going to add this uh, image here uh, source source uh, when we have to add the url to this sort we have to add it except url as assets images cart logo flip cart dot png as a so i will add the here let's see now my logo is appeared here okay i will uh, now we learned how to add styles here rather than adding styles to our component css file we can add styles in line here i can add as in our normal javascript 
application no no normal html normal html file we can add styles in inline okay. i'll put it as a uh, 50 pixels we'll save okay now you can see our logo also appears there and inline styles also applied to the logo now we have to uh, complete this header component as we want for our further uh, tutorials and application development i have added some styles to our header components i pre-created some styles and let's uh, create these buttons as we want to our next tutorials for future purposes i will add this span and class as uh, now button this for our future purposes cart and about about us and this says log out here yeah, now login function is not there but for the so in the functionalities of those things i will add these styles and make clear the header components now you can see my header component is completed uh, i will add some pad in here for better view okay okay now my header is completed now you we can go to the our next lesson in next lesson we have going to learn about how to uh, bind values uh, interpolation and things and also communicate with child share data between child components and parent components let's conclude our lesson 2 part 2 from here thank you